Thailand's parliament has elected Petong Tan Shinawat to become the next prime minister. At 37, she becomes the, young, the country's youngest leader and the third member of the Shinawat family to take the office. The vote comes days after the constitutional court removed the last prime minister from office. Speaking at her party headquarters after the poll, Shinawat told supporters she felt compelled to take on the job. I decided that it's about time to do something for the country and for the party as well. And I just, I hope that I can do my best to, you know, make the country go forward. Jacob Goldberg is a reporter with The New Humanitarian. He's been following this story and joins us now from Bangkok. Jacob, can you give us a brief explanation, first of all, of how Petong Tan Shinawat became prime minister? Sure, yeah. She's the leader of the Thai Party, which is the largest party in the current governing coalition. She's also the daughter of probably the most popular politician in the country, Thaksin. Uh, and before her uh, election to prime minister, um, members of that coalition met with Thaksin, and uh, who's the god, who's now the god, basically the godfather of that party. And uh, it seems that whatever was discussed in that meeting and whatever deals were made uh, resulted in keeping that coalition together and uh, resulted in her pretty easy election with very little deliberation uh, and uh, not a, not much competition. Tell us more about the new prime minister and the Shinawat political dynasty. The Shinawat family is hugely influential in Thailand, isn't it? Yeah, it's hugely influential. They not more influential than uh, the opposition party, the uh, Move Forward Party, now now called the People's Party, that was just disbanded. Um, but they were the uh, second. They placed second in the, in the latest election, and uh, the new prime minister, like the one who was just removed from office, are seen as uh, proxies for the Shinawat family and uh, the head of the family, Thaksin. Um, this is her first elected position um, before becoming prime minister and before taking leadership of the party, she ran the hotel arm of her father's business. Um, and you, you mentioned earlier the baptism of fire. That makes sense because she will immediately face a lot of pressure. She'll have to, she's expected to jumpstart the economy somehow to ward off challenges uh, from the members of her coalition and uh, challenges via lawfare like uh, other members of her party have faced. Uh, and to do something about the rising popularity of the opposition, the, the People's Party, which um, beat her party in the last election. Now, this is Thailand's second premier within a year following an election which the opposition won and then was prevented from taking office. What does all this say about Thai democracy? Yeah, that's a, that's a really tricky question. And... Um, Potentially dangerous to comment on, but uh, I'll do my best. Uh, well, I think that there's a few data points we can look at. First of all, uh, any political system that's dominated by millionaires and billionaires, which is the case for Thailand, multiple parties uh, in Thailand, is going to ignore the will of the majority of the people. Um, but aside from that, uh, Governments that do well in elections, either whether they win them or do or, or come close to winning them, they don't end up finishing their term. They're removed from power by by courts, or they or they face coups, like m multiple uh, members of uh, the new prime minister's uh, family uh, has happened to them. Uh, and aside from that, the the opposition, the most popular party in the country, was uh, disbanded uh, la last week by the same court that just removed the prime minister. So all of the most popular elected politicians uh, are, are face this threat of uh, not really being able to, uh, to carry out their plans. Jacob, thank you very much for that. That was Jacob Goldberg, journalist with The New Humanitarian in Bangkok. A short while ago, I spoke with Matt Hunt, a journalist following the story in Bangkok. I asked him how the Thai parliament ended up picking her as prime minister. Sure. How she was selected this morning was actually quite common to the selection of other prime ministers, except that um, the process did not require the upper house or the Senate. So in order to be elected prime minister under the new Senate, which was 
elected um, in between the time of the last uh, general election in 2023 and now, the the candidate only needs to secure the majority of 500 votes in the lower house. And Pei Tongtan Shinawat, who is the leader of the Thai Party, um, her coalition has 314 seats amongst them within the parliament. And so um, this morning when they had the vote, there was a small amount of debate allowed before to debate her premiership. However, only 20 minutes uh, was given to the opposition to debate against her, whereas other candidates in the past has been quite a lengthy the process. So I would say that in terms of, of that specific part, it was a bit short. However, for her uh, to be elected, all she needed to do was secure a simple majority in the lower house, and she had that prior to going into the vote today. Now, this is the second new premier for Thailand within a year after an election, which the opposition won and then was prevented from taking office. Is this the will, is the will of the Thai people being ignored, would you say? Whether or not the will of the Thai people is being ignored, I think, is a really complex topic that requires a lot of time. However, I would say in terms of the reflection of what happened in the outcome of the 2023 election, as briefly mentioned before, uh, Pei Tong Tan was not um, the candidate that even Pui Thai voters were necessarily voting for, but the Pui Thai party did not win that election. And so whether or not people are having reactionary feelings to the dismissal of uh, Prime Minister Seita Tawisin or her election is one thing, but the overall feeling of instability in the country has definitely returned and ties online and offline are talking a lot about whether or not things are about to get worse, um, if there's going to be some kind of power struggle, or if the former uh, prime minister, Mr. Taksin himself, will actually be in some way controlling the decision making of the prime minister. This was something that people had been saying and were worrying about with Prime Minister Tawi Sin. However, now that his daughter has been elected to the premiership, it seems a lot more likely that he may be in her ear. And overall, this could lead to some definite backlash, though in the immediate, it still seems uncertain. Matt, thank you very much. That was journalist Matt Hunt in Bangkok.